Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Aisha from Bags of Style. So this is the final video of the series that I started um, probably like a month ago about my 2022 handbag collection. These are the final bags that I have in my collection. So I just wanted to go through them really quick. Anyway, if you guys are not already subscribed, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family. And also to my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for the continuous support. And let's get into this video. Okay, guys. So as I stated, this is the final video of my 2022 handbag collection. These are some um, contemporary brands that I just wanted to just end with, okay? So we're going to start on, I guess, my left. Um, and we'll just finish it out, okay? So the very first bag that I wanted to showcase, you guys know that I did open this during the Black Friday um, Cyber Monday sales. This was one of the bags that I got on sale from Nina Marcus. This is the Rebecca Minkoff. This is the G bag. Guys, I told you guys the reason why I even gravitated to this bag was because of this lock right here. I just think it's so, 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 so beautiful. It's so different. Um, I have seen Rebecca Minkoff before, all her bags, but I never was really interested in it because of the clasp they had. But when I saw this one, I had to get it and make it part of my collection in this purple color you guys did vote that it was between this or the green because they did have a pink but i have enough pink bag so you guys did vote it and the purple was the one that won and that's what i end up going with so this is how you open this bag right here and then you do this it still have all the document in it it's just like a um it's more like a baguette style bag the opening is not that big it does have this little strap right here um, so it's really simple. It's a simple bag, but I really, really, really love it. I think it's just so beautiful and it's so different. So I definitely needed to add this to my collection. All right. So now I'm going to put that down and let's go to the next bag. So this one, this is my Marc Jacob, the J-Link bag. Um, as you guys can see, I basically have it in two colors. I just think this bag is so beautiful. It gives you the two different hardware, the gold and the silver. And it has like a magnetic clasp. So this is how you open it. And then they have Marc Jacob on the inside. So it's not in your face kind of thing. It's a really big bag. Everything is still wrapped up. I just love the design of it. Um, as you can see, the magnetic claps. You have like two magnetic closure right here. And then you have this claps, which just literally close the bag. Um, it doesn't have any pocket on the back, it doesn't have any feet. But if you guys want me to go into detail about this bag, I can definitely do a dedicated full video of this bag. I love, this is what attracted me to this bag right here. The handle on the top, the top handle, it does come with a crossbody strap if you if you wanna wear a crossbody. But the handle on the top, I just think it's so, so, so beautiful. If you do wanna buy this bag, you're gonna to have to buy a pre-love because it's no longer on the Marc Jacob website, they don't offer this bag anymore. But this is the reason why I actually bought this bag. It's just so unique, it's so different. So I didn't just get it in the black. I actually got it in the white as well, guys. So I'm not even interested though. I got the white version first. Um, it doesn't have any stain or anything. I'm not sure if it's showing up, but this is literally still brand new. I actually purchased the white first because I saw it on another YouTuber's um, background. I think, what's his name? Sergio Secret. Yeah. So I saw it on one of his videos and he said what the bag was. And I was like, oh my God, I needed to get this bag. So I actually purchased this from Farfetch um, when I was looking for the bag and I paid like full price. And then the funny part is that I went to the Mark Jacob outlet and I saw the black one for like literally more than half off. So I picked it up. I purchased one for myself and I also purchased one for my mom. I just think this bag is just so, so, so beautiful. It's so different, especially the top handle. It's just a statement piece and it's so sturdy, guys. Very, very sturdy. And with the two-tone as well, very, very, very beautiful. So those are my Marc Jacob collection. I do, I am going to insert a video um, of the tote bag because I did actually go in my closet and film that video so i'll insert it before the end of this video so you guys can see the tote bag that i do have because i do have a mark jacob the tote bag in the size small and then i have some terry birch um tote bags as well but i'll insert that video of me showing the ones that i do have anyway let's continue 
So I do have the Kate Spade, the heart bag. I did pick it up in this um, this polka dot thing. This is more of like the um, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse collection. So, and I do have the SLG for this. Um, I did just post my SLG video. So I did forget some SLG in <laughs> The SLGs that I did forget were these, the SLG to this and the SLG to the, my Marc Jacob. I forgot to include those in the video. And I think I have an SLG from Carl Lager as well. So I forgot all of those SLG to include them. But this is my heart bag. I did pick this up at the outlet for a great deal. So I definitely love, love, love this bag. I just think it's so pretty. If you don't want the traditional heart bag, um, I didn't just pick up one. I picked up two. So I love this one so much. That I pick up the light pink one I just think it's so 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 beautiful so if you guys are counting that mean I have a total of five heart bag um, two from Kate Spade um, and I think three from coach now so I have five heart bag I just think it's so beautiful the Kate Spade heart bag is way more bigger than the, um, the coach ones so keep that in mind if you guys are interested in buying these i did pick this up from the outlet like i stated and it does have a cross body and it has like the little kate spade um cloth um, um lining and it has a credit card slot right here so i picked these two up for such a great 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 price because i think it was like a holiday sale and i basically got two for the price of one so definitely love my heart bags the next bag is this beauty right here so this is my kate spade love it bag this actually i picked it up from the kate spade the boutique the retail store because this wasn't being offered at the um this wasn't offered at the outlet because it's a it's a retail piece i just love how it opens it has that magnetic closure in it and if you guys open it right here it has the crossbody um it has a crossbody strap but the crossbody strap is more like in a uh, um, fabric material instead of all leather. And then you have this pocket and then you have like this mini lock thing right here. Another pocket right here. And then you have the pocket on the back. I just think this bag is just so cute. And I love the fact that I got it in this like red orange color. It's just so beautiful. It doesn't have, it does have a back pocket. I'm sorry. So you do have the back pocket on here no feet but it has like a little bump right here so it's not really sitting it's sitting on the letter but it's really not sitting on the letter well i gotta make sure i, I store this good because i don't want this getting um damaged as well and, and at all i love 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 this bag i just think it's so simple you have the top handle if you don't want to wear the the um the canvas strap you have the top handle i usually use it with the top handle and not with the canvas strap so i love this bag i just think it's so beautiful it's so simple and it's so classy honestly guys do not sleep on kate spade i think kate spade is really a well-made um well-made handbag company i love their bag it's simple it's classy i love kate spade so anyway now let's move on to the next brand so my final brand is my terry birch you guys did see that I did a comparison between this this bag and I think the the Coach Bandit bag. So this one is the Tory Birch, the Eleanor, but this is in the size I think size small. They do have it in a bigger size, and it had comes with the leather strap. I just wanted the chain strap on here. Um, I did go into full detail of um in that video about what my my negative and plus were about this bag. So if you guys want to see that video, please. Check out my video library. You will see that video. It's a comparison between this and a coach bag. Um, I do love the opening right here. This is how it look like with the chain. It has the um, zipper on the end. It has an opening right here. This is how you close it. And no pocket on the back. Nothing on the bottom. So if you guys really want to go um, see the full review of this bag, please check out that comparison video. You will see it on there. But I love this bag. I love the color. It's just so subtle and elegant. And this big cherry birch logo simply beautiful so this is my small eleanor and then sorry guys for the shake so guys so then i have the fleming bag so this one i actually got from nina marcus they had a sale on it and actually the reason why i purchased it because i have a boot that's just like this and it, should, it goes so perfect with it so this is my um the, my fleming in the size small 
guys this bag is just so beautiful it has like my um i do stuff it up so that it doesn't have any scratch it has the magnetic closure it has a pocket on the back i still have the tag because i haven't really used it i haven't even worn the boots yet so i definitely want to pull it out this um fall winter time because i think it's just so perfect and i want to style it but i love the fact that it's not the traditional one it has like this little snake kind of detail on it it's just so beautiful so this is my Fleming in the size small on my terry birch okay. and last but not least is my kira i think this is what it is the kira in the chevron so this a lot of people said this give them Kind of like the feel of the toy, um, the YSL toy, um, not toy, but the YSL Lulu. Um, I think it, I definitely think it's a comparison um, for that. So I got it in this really beautiful light pink um, coral kind of color. So this is the care right here. And I got this for such a great price that I needed to add it to my collection. I just think it's so simple, beautiful. It's really puffy, guys. Really, really, really puffy so i can definitely attest to it um so you definitely want to stuff it because if not it will kind of give you that slouchy look compared compared to the uh ysl one which is a little bit more structured even though it's puffy but this is the uh, kira bag um i got it from tory birch actually from the tory birch website it was on sale <sighs> I think I've had this for a couple of months now. They had they were running a great sale, so I just picked this up, and I love the color. I just think it's so beautiful. It's so different, and I love the chain strap as well on here. I think this is so, 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 so beautiful, um, and it's so crazy because I feel like this color and this color kind of go together, and I did pick this up as well from the Terry Birch um, website when they were having a sale, um, <laughs> but you see, like, this is just a little bit more darker than this, but it's almost the same color, um, kind of like in the same color clasp. But this is just a little lighter compared to this. So I did pick both of these up from Terry Birch when they were having a sale. Um, and I was like, oh, they needed to add it to my collection. Anyway, guys, also at this point, I'm going to insert the video of the tote bag that I have um, of the Terry Birch. I have um, the Marc Jacob and also I have Dooney and Birch. Uh, which is one of like my bags I've had for a couple of years. And I did show a, a small footage of my coach, um, Vogue 30. Is it Vogue 30? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the Vogue 30. Um, so I am going to insert that video now. So as you can see up there, this is a continuation of my um, Terry Birch bags. I didn't want to take those down because they're all the way up there. So I have the Perry Tote in that blue, beautiful blue color. I have the Walker Satchel um, in like that Bado, um color. I also have on top of here my one and only Dooney and Birch. I've had that Dooney and Birch for maybe like four or five years now. And it's holding up so amazing, okay? And then on the other side, sorry guys. <laughs> so on the other side, as you guys can see, I have my... Um, lee rizzo bag i did do an unboxing this this um bag right here that was one of the first bags that i did when i started my channel i did an unbagging of it and then right next to it you have my mike jacob the tote bag so these are all of the tote and then also i didn't show you guys on the coach um all of my coach bag that's the the coach um rogue 30 that i told you guys that i had but i didn't feature it on that video so these are all of most of my um my tote bags so again my mark jacob tote bag my um terry birch lee risewell my right here is my dooney and birch i don't i don't remember the name of the bag because i've had it for so long i've had it maybe like five six years now and it's so beautiful i love that color and then my walker tote um from terry birch and then my um Terry tote. So those are all of the Terry Birch and Mark Jacob totes that I have. And then featuring the Dooney and Birch and also the Coach, um, the Vogue um, 30. All right, guys. So as you saw, you've seen all of my collection. Thank you guys so, so, so much for the continuous support. Thank you for um, traveling with me down this lane of me showing you all of my handbag collection. Um, I know 2023 is around the corner, so 
here's some handbag that I'm looking at that I definitely want to add to my collection. You guys will kind of be surprised of what they are. Um, but I can't wait to show you guys what I'll pick up in 2023. Um, if you guys are not already subscribed, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and join the family. We have so much fun over here. And to my supporters, I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for the continuous support. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.